Hello, everyone. Uh, you know, I was going to talk about podcasting, but what I'm really going to talk about is Texas barbecue, <laughs> which I had this morning. I found myself in Lockhart, Texas. I'm just very briefly going to tell this story. Drove down to Lockhart, Texas, 10 a.m., Smitty's opens up. I ate, it was amazing. I ate brisket, I had ribs, and then I went over to Cruises and had sausage. And at Smitty's, they have open fires on the ground. And it was extraordinary. And I'm inspired to now do a barbecue podcast. We'll see if NBC lets us do that. Thank you. I'm, I've already subscribed. Just click. Anyway, it was great. Highly recommended. Uh, my dedication to barbecue knows no bounds. So uh, NBC, we, um, it's an interesting place. It's a huge organization, NBC News, MSNBC. Uh, they have... You know, it's, it's odd. They, they just, NBC started as a radio, you know, network back in the 20s. Uh, but when I got to NBC in my job, there was no radio studio in the entire building. So uh, they've had to build a new one uh, to help us get our podcasts off the ground, which is, which is great. But it's not a culture of audio. It's a culture of TV. And that was the first thing that I had to sort of figure out. As I was interviewing for the job, I was digging into what NBC was doing in podcasting, and I realized that I really didn't know that much about what they were up to. And I started to think, gosh, what, are they, what do they do? And basically all they had in Apple Podcasts was these things that they call showcasts, which is the audio of the television shows. So this Rachel Maddow show has a showcast. Chris Hayes has a showcast. And my little audio producer heart just, like, shrunk to tiny size, and I was like so sad about that because there's no artistry or creativity there. It's like, what? They're just taking audio from a TV show? And I thought, do I want to work at a place like this? I don't know that I do. And of course, through the interview process, I found out they had much bigger and higher ambitions, and they wanted to do things beyond the showcast. But I believed that those showcasts were really just brand extensions of those talents, and they couldn't really be doing anything extraordinary or interesting. Um, but what I found out when I got there was that they were bringing in 18 million monthly downloads, which was, blew me away. I was like, that's impossible. And that number, by the way, is not including Bagman, uh, which is uh, Rachel Maddow's narrative podcast about the incredibly corrupt vice presidency of Spiro Agnew, while Richard Nixon was also being cr incredibly corrupt at the same time. He had a whole other thing going on. It does not include why is this happening with Chris Hayes or the Today's Sunday Sit Down, which is sort of a semi-original podcast. So that, that blew me away. I thought, oh my god. And they were, by the way, they weren't monetizing any of this stuff. It was just 18 million downloads a month going out to the world. No advertising, no nothing. So they were looking for a strategy. How can we monetize what we got and make new things? So it taught me something. And it sort of made me feel like I didn't know what I was doing anymore because I realized that what people want, at least in this instance, is information. They want clear and concise information. And those shows, even though it's the audio of a TV show, those TV shows themselves are very highly produced and very well produced. There's teams of producers creating those segments. So the thing is, if you listen to them, it plays pretty well as audio. And it's something that uh, I realized I shouldn't be scoffing at because it actually provides pretty good information in an audio form. So I took this idea of audio being presented in whatever way it's being presented, this time through TV audio, and said, what can I do with that information to help make audio first podcasts? And basically what we've decided to do at NBC is to lean in hard into our newsroom and into our reporters. It's a huge newsroom all the way across the globe. And we... Uh, have this other part of this TV newsroom, and then there's this other thing called NBCNews.com, which is a completely other newsroom filled with reporters that it would probably be the size of like a mid-city size newspaper. And these people are doing their own original enterprise reporting alongside all the TV reporters. And I thought, oh my God, I have a wealth of resources to tap into here. What can I make and use all these people? So. What we started to do is, you know, obviously finding more talent within MS, NBC, NBC and MSNBC, not necessarily TV talent, but digital reporters and writers. We found many. Uh, there's going to be shows launching around some of those digital 
um, initiatives, uh, some of the digital, um, what do they call that in digital when it's the uh, vertical, verticals. They're going to be doing their own verticals. Um, and we've got a lot of people we've tapped into. We're expanding our team. We're staffing up podcasting. Uh, we're going to be hiring eight, nine people in the next um, the next few weeks, a couple, couple months. Uh, so look out for those job postings, producers uh, of all levels, uh, audio engineers, um, possibly more hosts, things like that. And we're going to also be reworking some existing content. One thing that NBC has a lot of, obviously, is video and television content. They did a... Um, a guy, uh, a Dateline producer named Dan Slepian did a 13-part a digital video series called Conviction. I found it, I watched it, and then I realized I didn't have to look at it. And I turned away, and I just listened to the entire series. And I thought, oh my God, this could be a podcast. So I brought in a freelance podcast producer, worked with Slepian, took it all apart, put it back together again, and made it into a seven-part podcast. And called it a different name. Now it's going to be called 13 Alibis. And... Basically, we took something and we just completely repurposed it, but we made it audio first by, by really taking it apart and making it into a podcast, not just taking the audio from the video series. So there's tons of that stuff at NBC, and it's just a matter of digging into the treasure box and finding it. Not to mention the huge NBC News archive of sound and video, which goes back to the 20s. And that's all accessible to me and my team, and we have to figure out the best ways to use it. And then going back to the hard news thing here, we feel like we feel like there's not a saturation of daily news podcasts. It may seem that there's a saturation of daily news podcasts, but what it's telling me out in the world right now, there's only there's tens of millions of people that don't listen to podcasts. One day, those people are going to come in to the fold, and they're going to start listening, and they're going to want to know what's in there. Is it just two guys in their basement talking about movies? Or is there hard news and, and, and investigative news and really sound journalism happening in the podcast space? And so what we want to do is create a daily news podcast focusing on the election in 2020. So we're going to tap into this whole roving team of reporters that go out into the field. They're called the Road Warriors. And they go out and they're with the candidates for the entire election. They assign one, can uh, one reporter, one producer, and then a digital reporter for every candidate. And they follow them all over the country. And we're going to basically hitch a ride and create a show based around that. And we're also going to do politics, uh, with, beyond politics, do tech and culture, which are the verticals on the digital side. And uh, also more short narratives along the Bagman model, which was very successful for us. 12 million downloads over seven episodes. Um, and more sort of short interview series, not doing shows into perpetuity, but doing like 10 or 12 episodes of an interview series based around a theme. And we have lots of those uh, in the works as well. So there's tons of stuff happening at NBC. And we are, uh, it's funny, there's so many resources there. They've been doing this for so long in lots of different ways, being journalists. But they've never really put a strategy around audio. And it's an exciting time for me to be there to build something kind of from scratch in a way, but with a massive amount of resources behind it to make it happen. So please uh, tune in to any of these NBC news podcasts as they are launched. Uh, it's happening soon. The first couple will be out in May, and then there'll be another one in June, and then more as the, as the year progresses. Um, that's it. Thank you.